Okay, so today we are back in career mode for EA PGA Tour. I was actually going to play this the other day, but um, if you're familiar with the game, there were some issues. They released a patch a few days ago and different information flying around, whether it was the actual patch or whether there was an issue with the servers. Either way, progress, anything you did wasn't being saved. So any challenges you did, career mode, etc. Um, numerous reports that I wasn't saving. I tried it myself on just a random challenge, completed a challenge, went back to the main menu and yeah, the stars hadn't saved or anything like that. So left it for a few days. Um, haven't touched career mode since the last live stream. Obviously the VODs are on YouTube as well. I'm gonna leave career mode just for when I'm uh, recording or when I'm streaming. But I have been doing some challenges. So if you have a look here, um, let's have a quick look in career. I've actually done quite a lot of uh, the coaching challenges. I think I've done all of them actually. Yeah, so I don't know if they're gonna add any more to these, but I've done all of the coaching ones. Um, some of them are very straightforward. Some of them are very difficult and had to try numerous times. Um, there are a lot more challenges you can do outside of the career mode that you'll still earn things for. So if you have a look here, challenges. I haven't touched too many of these. I've done 66 of the normal challenges. I started doing some of the sponsor challenges where you can unlock clubs, things like that. Um, yeah, they're really fun. I, I really find that the challenges are pretty, um, what's the word? Addictive, very good. Just as an aside from the actual career mode, I've got some rewards as well, which I've left to unlock till today. It's got 12, so I'm gonna open all of these now. A lot of these are just gonna be XP and coins. Yeah, got some um, tailor-made clubs though, which I might change at some stage. But, uh, don't really wanna use the EA clubs. And we'll have a quick look at our golfer. Now I haven't, I don't wanna, um, upgrade my golfer mid tournament um i'm gonna do it like in between tournaments which we are at the moment so what have we got we've got eight points cost eight actually i'm gonna go for that we really need a bit more power it's got no more coins and why don't we have a look at the equipment as well um Why don't we go with, yeah, we'll go with that bag, bag strap, go with the players. Not really bothered about any of this. For now, we'll go with a ping. Uh, so I'm gonna leave these clubs for offline because that's gonna take a while. But green mode, if you watch the last few videos, we did actually finish fourth. Um, good performance, 11 under. I, I am playing the quick rounds um, at the moment. So you only play around about say four or five holes instead of the full 18. And in between the AI takes the shots for you. I do find that it tends to give you pretty poor scores to work from. Um, but I was ha quite happy to have sole fourth position with 11 under. So the next uh, one we've got is the Desert Championship in Wolf Creek. So we're gonna jump into that one. And again, offline I will actually sort of update my uh, apparel, my clothes, my EA clubs, Sports. things like that. And Hopefully the, the sound's not too bad. To Another thing that's been reported is that the, the sound does world. reset every time from you start the, the game again, which it does with me, so. I keep having to adjust it the for the streams. See, we're already two over through three or we're on the third. We've got big names. We've got dark horses. We've got it all as we look at the leaderboard. Yeah, so through three. So we're on the fourth, par four. Not too, too long a par four. Including our leader. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par four fourth. I bogeyed the uh, par five. That obviously wasn't me, like I say. Now we have got the power drive now. <clears throat> Do we want to use the power drive? 
Why not? Shouldn't have used the power drive. <laughs> Damn, that's bad. Uh, of course, it was a pill. This one gonna settle into the bunker off the tee. Bring in Nota Begay, the third. Do you know what's not too far though? Everybody loves a winner, but in golf, it's not that simple. Top tens add up. Top tens are important because the top twenty-five at the end of this Corn Ferry Tour season move on, earn their privileges to play on the PGA Tour. I think so we're just going to have to bite the bullet here and just try and get it on the green, even well, if it's not close. That's the wonderful and intriguing thing about the game of golf, and in particular golf on the Corn Ferry Tour, is that Decent in most swing. cases you're just on enough? the body of work over oh, the course not quite. of the year. Can you sustain a not too bad, though. Consistently accrue points and keep this is for a birdie. In that top 25 at the year end, and a top 10 in the first event of the year is a great way to get that going. And Noda, not only first event of the year, but first event as a professional. That was really nice. Might go a little bit right with the light, but uh, and it does slope left. Oh, it's a chip in. Oh, yes. you love to get breaks Very like nice start after an errant drive. In for a surprise birdie. Yeah, one thing I'm not sure on why they don't have replays in this game. It's very strange. But I haven't played an EA golf game for a while. I didn't play the Rory McIlroy golf games or anything like that. And apparently they didn't have replays in those games either. I do you find that a bit strange? Obviously, if you're on the PS5, you can um, record it after the event. You know, you can record back to so many minutes up to an hour, I think, actually. Um, so you can always save that at the last minute if you do a good shot, but it's just not the same. It'd be nice to have replays to show different angles. So this is a par five. God, I'm really not sure how this is going to react. It's 90 foot downhill. Um, I think I'm going to put a high draw on this drive. I would aim further left, but I'm not sure how it's going to react. That might be okay. That should be okay with the height we've put on it. Yeah. Probably could have cut the corner a bit more. This is going to be a difficult lie on the slope, maybe. No, it's actually not too bad. Got a chance, though. So maybe on that one, the I could have taken a, a safer route. Because um, there's only... I mean, there's less than 200 yards in it for a par 5. That's pretty good going. One thing about the challenges as well, it does make you improve your game because you do have to use all of the shots. There's um, specific challenges to use chips, to use flops, to use runners, to put you in all different scenarios, in the rough, in the bunker, things like that. So even shots that you wouldn't normally use, because I know myself, I tend to, in PGA 2K23, I would use specific shots and I would never really use, say, a pitch. I never really use pitches. I would use flops. I'd use maybe chips sometimes, but not very much. So the challenges are really good to, to actually practice the game. Um, so this is going to... Can we... Yeah, AI in. Is that going to be a bit too short? Oh, that's a bad swing. That's a bad swing. But it's not too bad. That's pretty good. I uh, just caught the slope there. So it's going to be a tricky putt, but that will be for an eagle. Yeah, it's taking the slope quite a bit. 50 footer. I've also had a hole in one. Um, five foot up. Five foot up, so this is going to have to be... 24. Normally the rule of thumb is for every uh, inch up you add, an, add a foot. So five foot, I mean obviously that's an approximate, is around about 60 inches. So am I going to have to hit this about 110? That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Now it's going to push through the break from left to right, so it's probably going to mainly break right or left. Oh, 
under hit that slightly, but I had added a bit long much. Oh boy, way short. Oof. Yeah, that little bit short that I hit it has made the difference. So eight foot four, so I'm gonna maybe power this in a little bit, about fifteen foot. Bit of right to left. Maybe even about a ball outside. Nice, nice birdie. So we've got chip in and then a chance for an eagle which we under hit. But uh, back to back birdies for me. Now we'll see what the AI does for us. And that's where we're on the six. Yeah, we are. So maybe we're doing the first, uh, maybe like the fourth to the eighth hole, something like that. The par five fifth hole. It also comes across here. So something that lands short of that, which is in the vicinity of uh, you know 280, 290 yards. That's the key. From there, well, you're not going to have too much more in. Sort of 140, 150 yards in. Uh, it is a dog leg right, but uh, find that fairway there. Second shot, play just a fraction uphill. <sighs> and uh, the screen, well, it's got more humps than hollows in it. Um, yeah. It's to be expected, though. This course is absolutely crazy. So, now that wind's actually good for us. Should we try a power drive? Sorry if you can hear noises out there. The moped's going past. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to put a little bit of fade on this. And just go for it. Again, slightly off swing. That looks good though. That looks good. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, it's very safe. Good balance, good follow through, and, and a good short shot into the green. So after that bomb of a drive, this is second to the par four. And if you're not familiar with the RPG mechanics, you do upgrade your character with uh, skill points, and you can put them into different areas like putting, short game, recovery, power, uh, things like that. And depending. How many points you put in you unlock different shots as well so finesse we've got a bronze finesse that does go up to silver and then gold um the more you increase it finesse is good to be pretty accurate spin is good to stop quickly but if it's only a bronze and you can see that the cir aim and circle is a little bit more um wider so i think what we'll do is we will use the finesse It's a bit below our feet, so it will go a little bit right. I think we'll try and play it a little bit past. It's a better swing. Maybe under hit slightly. Yeah. Wanted to go past the hole a little bit to spin back a few foot. That's not bad. Not great from that range, to be honest, though. Not a ton in this, but you have to hit it firm. So, probably want to hit this about, give it a little bit of oomph. Just maybe hit it straight, a bit of power. It's a decent swing. Ah, oh, just right. Again, I hope they do fix it, but some of the, uh, the beads for the putting aren't accurate. So there are some putts where it's going to be a pure right or left, and when you hit it, it goes left or right, and it's not just me. People have not put that across the board and I think EA did say they're looking into it. Maybe the best risk reward hole here at Wolf Creek is right here at the bar 47. It is without question drivable at 302 yards. However, getting that tee shot to stay on the green can often be a different story. We see plenty of shots go over the back, leaving an incredibly difficult hit shot. I don't think we're gonna be going for this in one. And apparently though, what would I would do? No, that's just, and like they've said on there, that trying to get that to stop. I 
think maybe we uh maybe try and land it on the front there god my swings all sorts of uh wrong today and this kick left a little bit perfect yeah very controlled shot there with the iron on this absolutely short perfect four, and that's going to be just fine so not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second with this par four i think we'll play can we use a long flop um Long flop's not going to really make it there. I think we will use the finesse. Both below our feet, so adjust for that a little bit. Bit of a better swing, still a little bit shaky. Oh, way too much spin on that. What the hell? What was that? Great. Did not expect that much spin. And I think we'll play a pitch here. Mm -hmm. This is the bogey. I'm really annoyed with that. Oh, it's gone right. Got it there, but Further right than what I thought. That is... Uh, that's not good. Double. Uh, I just totally misjudged the spin on that. I didn't realise I was going to spin that much. We came back to the third hole at Wolf Creek, straight up the hill. This eight is the opposite. It's listed at 248 yards on the scorecard, but it plays significantly shorter than that, thanks to a drop of better than 80 feet from tee to green. Keep that in mind when selecting your club. 259 yards. I think that's going to be what, like a five iron, maybe. Maybe a six iron. F iron, rather. How has it got that far left? Ah, oh, this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster the past couple of holes. Okay, so the drop I didn't... Uh, it felt like I hit that okay. So it's down a foot, so... We don't want to hit it short, though. I think we'll leave it as is because it will go right to left at the start and then back again. Maybe over hit that a little bit. Well, that's no, I just didn't really turn back. Yes, that was not easy down the slope, but that's pretty well done. It wasn't a bad putt, but again. Off. Yeah, my swing's slightly off, but I'm not really sure now, what happened on that par three. Bar. It felt okay when I hit it. There's a good one to close out the front side. 390 yards, a par four. Yeah, you can hit the big one and just air it out. Finishing up this front side here at the par four ninth, 390 yards and. What are we looking at, Frank? Well, it looks relatively straightforward, uh, but it's anything other than that. Decision time again. Do you lay it up 
into that wide area of the fairway. If you're a longer hitter and you are out here to have a little bit of fun, then maybe you want to take the head cover off because you'll get a little bit of an advantage if you can drive it over that last bunk on that right side, or at least take that out of play because you're only going to have a short pitch in here. It's a good strike. Good line. Fairly wide fairway anyway. That will do just fine. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Can't use a spinner, so it looks like a finesse. Actually, maybe we don't want to... Maybe you want to hit it a little bit lower to not spin as much. What has happened there? Underspring 3.9%. I don't know how that's gone that short. I felt like I hit it full. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. That was shocking. Um, all right, we're going to have to take this about 85 ish. And. Yep. It's a very good strike. Have we got the line right? Oh. Decent, decent. But after a good start from ourselves, drop back. We need to make some shots. Okay, can't take that length for granted, but that's, that's a part. sketchy looking scorecard. Plus five after eighteen. For the golfer we had our eye on. No other way to say it, Frank. Just not a real good day out there. It could be a short week, Rich. Um, we can yeah, we're going to be struggling to make the cut here. Uh, the rest of the field. some XP there. We'll just jump straight into the second round. And what it tends to do on the quick rounds is it puts you in random holes, so it probably won't be the same ones this time. It'll be another random four or five holes. I don't know if it's exactly the same amount of holes each time. And, the Corn Ferry Tour and we are now plus six. Great. In the world of golf. Looks like we're starting Eastern on the Nevada seventh. And Wolf Creek golf Club. So at least we're familiar with this hole, and this is the one that we just spun back on before. Could we potentially? Let's get out to the play as we pick things up at the par four seven. Could we? You like a high draw? No, do you know what? I, I still think the way we played it last time <clears throat> was the right way to do it. Which was the four iron, wasn't it? Third strike. Just don't want to hit the slope. Stop. And this, not the longest hole players will encounter. That was pair of it, but just an iron off the tee, bit, uh, almost too hard. Perfection. The big drive got him here. Okay, so for his second. We want to do a finesse. We want to put low. We don't want to hit it high. And yeah, we'll probably want to hit it just towards that edge there. It should come back a little bit still. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. It's hit the pin. Oh my god. I actually hit that really well, and it's hit the pin and bounced all the way back. 
Guys, it's not going for us today. I don't know. What is going on? That was just pure bad luck. I had exactly how I wanted to. And um, we've got a tricky part. A tricky putt just to get a bogey here. Ten foot putt left. Nice. <sighs> Plus seven. What is the cutoff? Does it have an estimate for the cutoff? Normally it does. Um, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Bridge actually cut like plus one. Nah. We're not going to make this cut, I'm afraid. Because the AI tends to drop shots as well when you're not playing. Um, We'll do a high fade on this one. Now this one went wrong last time as well. I've hit that one perfect. This could be really good. Stop there, don't roll off. That was absolutely yeah, nice spot on. It's gonna be a difficult put though, probably right or left. Yeah. Um gonna try and power this one in a little bit. It's going to turn quite quickly. Nice putt. Very nice putt. Could this be start of one of the biggest comebacks? Potentially need five more birdies and a clean scorecard. Fun hole for the big hitter too. They can really take advantage of this. The last fairway bunker down there on, on the right side is just over three. I tend to use draws quite a lot because you can select when you play it, um, when you set it up, whether they favour fades or draws. And if you play that shot that they favour, uh, you get a little bit more accuracy. That doesn't mean you should always play it, obviously, but nice little club twirl. Looks good. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. that Only 46 yards to the hole. Right so the I still can't believe that, that, that I just hit the pin and it rolled back. Close range. <laughs> Spin it. Now, this is one that stops pretty much dead. At least it's supposed to. Now, this might go a little bit past where I'm aiming. I just don't want it to be short. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. This would be a so good way downhill. to finish off the front side. Okay. Probably maybe one a ball. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, that was too much. Needed that one to go in. They tend to sting. That okay. really need to all the putts to drop from here on in. The part for tenth, and Frank, what's the right way to attack this hole? A little deceiving off the tee here, Rich, because you don't see the full width of the fairway because of the desert down the right side. Uh, you do see those bunkers down the left. 280 yards take them completely out of play and it's a fun green obviously protected by those bunkers on the left and that little one pop bunker on the right but uh, be aware of the contours of this green and uh, just be aware to where they stick the flag I'll try and smash this and one front section then this is certainly a birdie hole absolutely leathered that let's just hope it comes back to the left should do yeah with the hole cut in the front left this tee shot down the right is ideal very nice. 
Just under 104 yards, top hill. To put my feet so this will go left. left. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. Mm, no, I don't want it too high, do I? Actually, I might hit it in low. I'm thinking of actually. Yeah, I might go up to 99. Hit it low. Yeah, it's gone a little bit right. But power wise, that's pretty much spot on. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Um, not an easy birdie chance. I think I've been overreading some of these breaks, so I'm gonna not drop the power too much and not in too far right. Very nice, very, very nice put there. Come on. Perfect there, down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Oh. That might just wind up being the we finished even par. Moment that's gonna move him inside the cut line in his quest to Oh wow, those so those putts really saved me. And the AI actually the did me a favor. Ooh. But yeah, messy scorecard. Not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. But we did make some clutch putts. And um, overrides that uh, bad luck. So, why don't we have a look here? It's the third round. We are two under. Okay. I mean, obviously, we we want to start winning tournaments at some stage, but we're just trying to get, you know, like top ten finishes. Finished fourth in the last one, which was really, really good. Currently, twenty fourth. Now, what hole are we going to start on today? Fifteen. So this is probably going to be uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So there's only four holes there. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. I hope, right I think they've addressed this EA, but I hope they do add the ability to have somewhere in between the quick rounds and playing the full four rounds, like maybe just playing two rounds, two full rounds. Or, or anywhere in between, like play one full round or three full rounds or whatever, because playing four full rounds on every tournament is going to be, it's just going to take far too long. But at the same time, playing the quick rounds, you don't get the full experience of the course. Um, so yeah, I hope they get it. I think they have addressed that in, in some of the changes that they're looking at. So that should be good. Now this one's downhill, so this should stop pretty quickly. So I might hit a low draw. And I've hit that. Absolutely perfect. This is looking really good. Stay there. Yeah. So hitting it low just that to avoid the spin. Absolutely worked perfectly there. Beautifully done. Birdie putt now moving to his right. Okay. So it's the Two or three inches up. Okay. Hit it a fair bit. I do like that close view when I'm taking my putt. And that's another nice putt. Those challenges when I've been putting, did a lot of challenges involving the putting, long putt, short putts, repetitive like putts. I think it's paying off a little bit. I mean the game looks absolutely beautiful. I really do think that. Obviously I hope they overcome some of the issues that we've seen 
I still don't agree at all the fact that you have to be online. Um, you have to be online on the servers f to even basically play the game. Uh, the other day I, when I logged in or started up a game, the, the servers randomly went off. Um, and the only thing you could, the only thing that was literally on the menu was, I think, quick play. Um, you know, why you can't play the career mode, things like that. Why it doesn't save when you're offline, I don't know. There must be a reason behind it. I don't think it's a good reason. Um, I just think that's really bad. <laughs> game. I understand the online thing, but, you know, if you're playing multiplayer and things like that, it has to be online, obviously. But just for playing single player and for it to save and things like that, it's just really annoying. I hope they, I doubt they'll change that. But I hope they do. Now we've put a little bit of draw, should bounce. This is looking very good. It's going to be over 350. 374. So a big drive. So might Not play a flop here. here for his Maybe a spinner. Could we play a flop? I don't think it's no. It's not close enough. Well, I've got long flop as well, but you can see the circle there. That's. Um. I think we might play the spinner here. Put a bit of height on it. aim at the flag because it does go left to right but this should go a little bit left off the ground oh just hit a bit too hard there it just came out blazing as soon as it hit the green it was never going to stop definitely going to put this though hmm or do we I think a chip. I don't really like chips, but got to start getting. If we, if we can cut off that right to left, yeah, about there. Oh, <laughs> I say I don't like chips, but in this uh, stream alone, I've already chipped in twice. I should start using that more. It's not so much judging the line, it's the power for me. Uh, but again, that just comes with practice, I suppose. But two nice chip ins. T-shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still going to be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's going to leave a lengthy second shot, and you've got to get the distance right on the button. Okay, dokie. So, what are we, four under now? Wow. Um, no, we can't power drive this. You can see that blue line is where it's going towards. And I think we even drop to a three wood, a normal drive, put a bit of height onto it. Do we even drop further? No, we'll do a three wood. Slight underswing, but that's fine. There's no way we could go for that second fairway. We haven't got enough power in our character at the moment. <clears throat> Chance to go for the green still though. Pretty decent, just wants to stop. Rolled a little bit, but I didn't want to risk the, the front edge too much. Oh, chance for an eagle though. This is a makeable eagle. This a long look for a possible eagle. Now it will go slightly left to right, assuming those beads are correct. Of course. I think maybe just Ball width. Hit it well. Turn, turn, turn. Didn't turn. Oh, that's a good stroke. That's now, I don't know if that was the beads or whether that was just. Eagle, but I don't know. It would be a, a nice consolation, right? 
Gave it a chance though, gave it just enough power to go past, which is what you want to do. And we've got a birdie, that's five under now. This is a big turnaround from where we were in the first round. Well, the first couple of rounds. Now ninth in the top ten, which is what we're aiming for. And it's probably a fairway wood or a hybrid off the tee. What presents a problem, that approach shot. Waterfall on the left. It looks nice, but you just want to stare Could at it. Could we go for this? Your shot there. Deep no. bunkers and rocks on the right. And a funky green that is really a challenge. This is an excellent finishing hole. Do we really want to risk it? I don't think we do, do we? Let's see... I think we just had a high draw into here. Yeah, around about here. Yeah, nice. this not a terribly long hole, so precision off the tee is the key. I just don't think it's worth going right going for that there. there. Um, so the accuracy on a power drive is just, this, it's, this yeah, it's not going to be there. Okay, so we could go for a finesse, that's what it's suggesting. Do we go for a spinner, maybe? Faded spinner. Let's have a quick look, it's below, so it will go right. Should we maybe aim it here. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty decent. Chance now for another birdie. This one is pretty straight, maybe a little bit left edge. Gonna give it enough power, so this, this may run past if I miss by a couple of feet. Hit it well. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Six under. Four birdies in a row. Absolutely brilliant. So for our featured golfer, some good playing and some favorable scoring conditions here on this Saturday. But they'll look up at that. Yeah, that's looking much better than we were. Just my gameplay wise as well. I know we were unlucky on one of the holes in the third round. Um No, second round, sorry. That was the third round. Um but we had some shocking shots, didn't we? Um, right, last round. Can we get that top four finish? I mean, maybe even push to challenge for the lead. Of course, it depends on how the AI have done. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. Slow Today, conditions, flat tees. It's live final round coverage of the Desert Championship. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By Two off the lead. Ball, we will have our winner as you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon. We've got a tie at the top. And um, we're starting on the 13th. Bar. So out to the Should we play the last six holes? We catch up with Hope we do. On the tee at the par four 13th. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is this shot? Is it telling me to go over this? Okay. That is not worth going for, because the... Surely... not yeah I'm not risking that and even if you landed it the putt would be horrendous That's exactly where I wanted it. See shortish par fours like this it's a great time to bring out the irons and that is going to work out well. Okay, so 
how do we want to approach this? That's not a pun. Um, how quickly is that going to stop? Sure, how quickly that's going to stop. Hit it well. Don't stop too quickly. Oh, it's, I've only hit it. There was a slight slow. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? Uh, oh, two foot up. Okay. Very poor from that so range. this is going to play. What? Nearly 60 foot? Should power through the first break. I've only hit it slightly, have I? Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Well, I could have, but. Okay, safely in for par. Okay, par. Really need to do what we did in the last round, in the third round, and, and get back to back birdies. Describe the layout here at the 14th hole. If we could get another 44 yards, <laughs> four birdies in a row like we did. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on a on a on something in the diff in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. Good drive. Will it find the fairway? Looking a little right. That's good. Oh my goodness, definitely there. What a wonderful tee shot. That's Set absolutely spot on. Ahead and we go to Iona Steven. 152 yards left to the flag, and that pin, well, it's back left today. No, it's about so we'll go left and we're gonna do a draw anyway. Go on, go on. Almost perfect. Uh, that shot. little bit of slow. If I hadn't hit that a little shot. bit slow, it would have been right on the hole. So probably wanna hit this about twenty foot to give it a chance. My gut feel is about halfway between the hole and the grid line. Oh. Oh, no. I think he was about These greens are very slow. I keep forgetting they did say slow conditions and um, even though I'm, I'm kind of used to the faster greens. That's two pars in a row. Not great. Get some decent shots and yeah, the lead's quantum. 14 and now. 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. Frank, this is the shortest hole on the course. And their version of the postage stamp type hole, minus the bunkers on the right side. The green elevated falls off, as you can see down the left side. The club selection is vital, but it is such a short yeah, hole. It's very and very tempting, under. especially when that flag's on the left side to still go Just out. Just check something. You miss this green on the left, and you are going to be considerably okay. lower than the level of this green. This is going to be all about it not rolling too far back. So maybe put a bit of fade to stop it quicker.
fit that pretty perfectly. Come back a little bit, come back. That's Still 20 foot of the hole though. Surface and a birdie look straight ahead. I felt a better shot than what this it turned out to be. Foot putt. Right. It's probably going to be right edge, isn't it, if anything? Um. Oh, I just turned at the last. Oh, that's going to be a tricky putt there as well. Oh, God. Past. Ooh, that's got a little bit more movement than you think, and that'll slide on by. Well, that's blown our chances, and um, that was just being. I had to be aggressive on that putt, and it's when, you know, then I had an eight footer to save part. Now we've got to think about getting that top ten finish. Still eight. Short par four, 16 tall measures, only 393 yards. But Frank, as is the case with pretty much every hole, despite the yardage, there's plenty of trouble. It does. It plays tricks on the mind's eye here. It looks like it's a dog leg going one way, then back the other way. But really, it's built as a straight hole just across the canyon. And, and that's the one no, you've got to play. Gone mad there. Um, I don't think you can drive the green even the longest hit is at 393 yards. But uh, just a nice drive down there. Take the bunkers on, get it past there. It needs to bounce right Before here. You, you know it. You've got a little work to it. And it should sit up nice. Nice bounce. Yeah, a bit of slow, a bit of overswing. It's uh, not the tidiest of swings. Good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. Try and get this to stop quickly. Good swing. Still trying to get used to that spin. It still always seems to go a little bit further than what uh, it looks like. Maybe right edge. I don't trust the beads. That's a trouble. Um, very nice. Nice weight. Nice line. Perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. But it's likely gonna come a little too late. Yeah, six. Four back with just two holes to play. Frank, you licking your chops here at the par Let's five, have a quick look. 17th hole. Oh, why not? A chance to reach a par five and two. But there's still pitfalls in front of you. A little creek or stream runs across the fairway. Yeah, if we could really maybe get up to like 12 or 13 or under. Still reachable from just short maybe of that get a top creek. five. Find trouble off the tee, then obviously you turn it into a three shotter. But a good tee shot, and it's too tempting to resist not going for this green. I've gone a bit through. Gone right. The right side. Should bounce. Yeah. That was okay. Don't know why it went right a bit. Now we'll have a chance into the green here. Remember, we did have an eagle chance the last time. Played a nice shot into here. Um, I think we probably want to hit a bit of a high draw. To me, or maybe just a draw. Decent swing. Stop there. Turn back around a bit. Turn back around. Come back down. Come back down. Ah, it hasn't, has it? 20 foot of the eagle, though. Be downhill. Massively downhill. Um, want to give it a chance, but we don't want to go too far past. want to make sure we definitely get a birdie at least. And again, I think right edge. Oh, 
good weight, give it a chance, but didn't get the uh, the line right. Now this for another birdie. Very nice. So on to the 18th, 12 under. Can we get to 13 under and maybe get that top five finish? We're currently fourth anyway. Could we get second? If you looked at the scorecard, you think you could drive this green, but uh, one quick look at the trouble in front and to the right could of the screen, we? you realize that's probably not the prudent play. Really, something 230, 240 yards off the tee in that vicinity is going to just have a look at this. A wedge into this what, green. what could go wrong? It is a rather narrow green, but uh, from that distance, well, it could bounce over anyway. Close. No, do you know what? I think it's better to be. I don't think this is worth going for. I think it may be if we're really pushing for the, the title, we might go for it. But I think the, the prudent thing here is just to lay up short. My worry, worry with, even if I was accurate and got up towards the green, didn't go in the wall or the bunkers, yeah, if you hit the green cool first, really it just bounces for miles. So you'd end up going off the back. Man, that's gonna be just fun. Um, but a chance here... Game, Have a quick look at the leaderboard. It's about putting the ball in the right position, and that's what he's done. We have really got a chance to, to get tied second place, yards, get a birdie here, shot. which wouldn't be too bad. We'll go a little bit right. Oh, it's a bit of an untidy swing. But that is absolutely perfect for a birdie. Three footer. This for potentially, depending on how the AI finished, this could be for tied second. There it is. 13 under. Three birdies in a row to finish. Disappointed about that bogey, but. Ah, we drop back a little bit. Frank, you and I have covered golf around the world. Finished fourth, though. Where our aim was top ten. We've got top five. Finished fourth again, actually. That was the same place we finished in the last tournament. It's a wonderful course to play. It's so pleasing on the eye. Okay, so I haven't leveled up yet. No, okay. Rankings, we're fifth in the Corn Fairy Tour rankings. That's pretty good going. And what have we got next? We have got the California Classic at the Riviera Country Club. 